All right, today we're going to learn how to find out how much free space there is on your Linux system, as well as see which files and folders are specifically taking up the most space. So maybe if you're coming from a Windows background like me, or even coming from a desktop environment like GNOME or KDE, then you're probably used to clicking around menus for this. At least on Windows, you can click settings and storage and see which files are taking up the most space. But if you're using a window manager like I am, then you can either check it from the terminal, which I actually prefer. It's pretty fast and easy to do. And at the end, I'll throw in a graphical tool as well if you still prefer to click around. But first, I'll show you how to do it on the terminal because I believe that's faster and easier. So we're going to use a few different commands in order to check how much disk space that we currently have. And let's start off with DF. So DF will tell you how much disk space you have free on all of your different file systems. So if I just run this right now, uh, we can see my main one. If you're not dual booting or anything, then you should probably just see one main drive as well. This is a dev SDA2 for me, but it could be anything else for you. This is probably just going to be the largest one here. But right off the bat, we can't actually see how big these are. So these are in bytes right here. And if you're like most normal people and can't translate these bytes into megabytes and gigabytes, then you're going to want to run the dash H option right here, which means render it human readable. So I can actually read this. And now as we can see, this is in gigabytes, which is a lot easier to read. So I have 234 gigabytes in this SSD right here, and I have used 83 gigabytes. So 38% is currently used right now. And I have 139 gigabytes available. So it's pretty easy to see at a glance how much disk space you're using on each of your drives. So I just end up running this whenever I want to check to see how much disk space I have left. But if you want to check some individual folder or file, maybe you want to see how big a specific folder is or some random file that you have lying around, and you can do that from the terminal with the command du right here. And we also need to pass in the dash h option to make this human readable. And you can check any specific file. Let's say I have a zshn file here. This is four kilobytes right here, very small. But if you wanna check the file size of an entire folder, well, we can try that right now. But if we don't pass in this S option right here, then we're going to get this folder and every single subfolder inside it as well. So this is probably not what you want. This is way too much information. So what you can do instead is run du-sh. And this will just get you the singular folder and tell you the file size of all of it. It'll probably take a little bit if you have a ton of nested folders inside this. So the more files and folders that you have inside a directory, the longer it's going to take. This took seven seconds, which isn't too bad. So this is four gigabytes right here. So this is a pretty easy tool to be able to find out the size of files and folders on your system. And if you wanna use these tools more often, maybe you can just alias this so you don't have to type out do sh every time. You can just alias something like alias do to do dot do dash sh right here and then every time you run do you'll automatically get what you're expecting right here okay and those two simple commands are all well and good but now let me show you my favorite tool that i use probably the most often and this is ncdu so ncdu will show you exactly which files and which folders on your system are taking up the most space and you can install it, I believe, from all of the main repositories. At least on Arch Linux, it's going to be pacman-s and cdu. It's as simple as that. So once you have that installed, you can run ncdu. And I'm just going to push dash dash color dark just to have a color theme as well. If you don't include this, it'll just be black and white, which is up to you. But I want to look at some pretty colors. So let me just hit enter on that. And the first time that you run this, this will probably take a long time. Just because it has to scan through every single file and folder on your system, or at least in the folder that you ran it in. So when you run ncdu, you can also pass in a folder here. By default, it'll take the current directory that you're in right now, but you can also point it to maybe something like videos right here. But for the, this example, let's just put it in the home folder right here. So once this is finished running through every single file and folder, inside this folder that you're in right now, then you'll get something like this. And of course, it'll take longer if you have more files and folders. If you're a messy person and you have a million different files in here, it'll take a long time. 
but right away we can see uh, in descending order how much space all of these are taking up. So I can see that my dot local directory right here is taking up the most space right here. Videos is coming in number two and there's a cache folder that is also taking up a lot of space. So we can just go into here with the arrow keys. You can also use the Vim keys if you want. And we can see exactly what's taking up so much space. So right here it's in my share directory and we can see most of it is just going to be a bunch of Steam games. Now I don't necessarily condone playing games but I do have a few games in here from before. So if you want exactly to see which ones are taking up the most space, you can go in here, Celeste it's taken up two gigabytes and so on and so forth. And if you want to actually delete a file or folder in here, you can hit the D key right here. And be very careful with this because you can just delete and nuke an entire folder that you didn't mean to. So do be careful when running this. I'm going to push no. I don't want to delete that. I wouldn't necessarily recommend deleting folders and files in here. Uh, I would do that somewhere else where it's a little bit safer. But if you want to, you can. Well, let me just back out, all, out of all of this. And so you can just go through every single file and folder and see which specific files are taking up the most space. You can go all the way down to the file level right here and delete individual files if you want. And down at the bottom, it'll show you how much space is currently being used in this specific folder. And so whenever I'm seeing that my disk space is running out, you can just open this up and see the culprits. Sometimes you have to clear out the cache if you're running something like Arch Linux and the cache gets filled up a lot. Maybe you have some random files around that you didn't know were so big and you can just go through and delete these. So this is the home folder. And of course we can also just go into another folder right here, open up NCDU right here, and then you can just see everything inside this folder right here. But if you wanna run NCDU for the entire file system, you can run NCDU, let's say color dark, and then you can put in the dash X option and then slash. So this will get your entire file system. This dash X is just saying only do this file system, none of the other ones. So let's run this and then it'll again go through all of the different files and folders. And so if you wanna see every single file and folder on your computer, then this is going to be it. So most of it is being taken up by the home directory. We already saw that, but we can also look under this user directory under lib. And these are a whole bunch of applications and things that are taking up space. These are all fine, but if you just want to look through these, you can. So that's a pretty easy way to scan your entire system and see who the culprits are. But finally, let me just leave you with one more thing. To be honest, this is all I use, but if for some reason you want a graphical interface to use this, um, there are a whole bunch of different ones that you can use. Personally, I would probably prefer Baobub the most which is a really weird and ugly name, but it's basically the GNOME disk utility. And when we open this up, uh, as we can see, it's like a GNOME theme. It's built for GNOME, but you can install it wherever you want. I think it's in all the standard repositories. And so you can click through this. Maybe it's a little bit easier for you to use than something in the terminal. Again, it's your preference. This is gonna take a while again to load. But if for some reason you want this fancy graphic on the side, so you have all the information that you would have in NCDU, but you also have this on the side, which I don't know, I don't really care about because this is basically unreadable to me. It's just pretty colors is all it is basically. But this option is open to you if you want. Wow, that is a lot of interesting colors right there. But you've seen all this before. I don't need to go over it again. You can guess what this would all do. And finally, I'll give you one more option just because I'm nice. You can also just do something like put the free disk space in your taskbar right here. So for example, I'm using polybar. You might be using something different, but the principles are probably going to be similar. You can get some module that will basically display how much free disk space you have. You can display it as a percentage, as a free space right here. Let me just open up my polybar configuration right here. But personally, if you're using polybar, you can do something like this. You can have a file system module right here, uh, get the mount point, and then display in the label how much free space we have here. So this is just telling me that I have 138 gigabytes free right here. You could display it as a percentage or something like that. I'm not gonna go over this in this video. You can check out my polybar video if you want. But that's all you need to know about how to check how much free space is on your system right now. So now you never need to worry if you're running out of disk space or not, or 
seeing which files and folders are the largest. Use these simple tools and you'll never be left wondering again.